All right, here's our update video. It's long overdue. Uh, sorry for the everybody who's uh, been looking for more information or an update from this last video. Uh, here's the book that everybody's uh, curious about. Um, ordered this online. Uh, it wasn't cheap, but it did have the uh, codes in there that that, uh, that you need to uh, figure out what your problem is. And... Uh, it took me several months to figure this out. Of course, I didn't work on it, you know, like every day or, or anything. I'd work on it, you know, once every week or two, I'd tinker on it a little. And it, originally I thought it was this code 23 uh, that was the knock sensor I mentioned in the previous video. Um, I did all the precautionary things to try to, to resolve that without, you know, taking the knock sensor out. Um, such as the, uh, you know, cleaning all the gas out, running clean fuel through it. Um, I looked at the spark plugs. I ended up finding a, one of the spark plugs uh, looked bad and uh, replaced the spark plug. That had no effect. Then I bought a new coil for that spark plug and, and swapped that one out. Uh, or I think I just swapped them around first from other cylinders. Well, maybe I didn't. See, it's been so long I don't remember exactly. But anyway... Uh, I played around with uh, several different things until it kicked a different code. And that code was the number one code here, uh, which was the O2 sensor. So me, me and a dummy trying to save a few dollars, I ordered up, uh, you know, the cheapest one I could, well, maybe not the cheapest, you know, it was like, I don't know, $8 was the cheapest. And this one was, what was it, 25 bucks or something. I figured that's probably a good one. Um, so I got that and put it in and didn't have any effect the code was the same so uh i said well you know I, I maybe that's the problem was i went with the cheap one so went back and ordered the what was it a hundred and some odd dollars or whatever that, for the for the proper one you look it up but maybe it was 180 or something it was a ridiculous amount of money i thought for an oxygen sensor compared to the one you can get for gosh i don't know what it was 50 bucks i forget for the cheap one but anyway as soon as i put that in Never heard the code again. Never beeped at me again. So, uh, lesson learned, you know, that, you know, the, the shop's going to charge you $500 to replace that or maybe a thousand because they want to change the oil or something too. Uh, so just go ahead and spend the, uh, next time I'll just go ahead and spend the 180 bucks or whatever the, you know, original equipment calls for and avoid, you know, another, you know, month or two of working on the engine, trying to figure out what the problem is. So, of course, I, to make it go a little faster, of course, I went ahead and got some graphics, you know. But, you know, I'm cheap again, so I wasn't wanting to do the whole wrap, you know, the whole boat. And uh, uh, for, you know, 1500 bucks or whatever they want to charge you. So I just got some individual pieces and just kind of cut. And, you know, it takes a little more time, but got that on there. And I, you know what? I think I got about a half a mile per hour more out of this engine. So, so I think that was money well spent. Uh, and I look better doing that half a mile per hour. So now I'm over here to my, my next problem, which is, or this year's problem. Uh, and that's this darn 12 inch sub that I put in here. I thought this thing would sound really strong and it just doesn't make the base that I thought it would. I think it's because I don't have an enclosure behind here. This is a, it is a free air uh, MTX 12 inch. I got it running off of this fusion amp in here pretty strong amp probably too strong i blew the first sub up uh like the first day i had it out so i turned it down a little and i don't know i think maybe i got to do an enclosure or something figure something out to seal that a little better i guess in there i don't know but still running good though with my honda thankfully uh so uh thanks thanks everybody for uh watching the video and uh and and commenting and i'll i'll, I'll get back to uh uh, things a, a little more promptly with your concerns in the future. And again, here's the uh, manual that you're uh, curious about. About and it has all your answers. Well, at least your codes. Good luck.